Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a full review video on the Wicked Sensations ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. This ROM is courtesy of Team Venom, so huge shout out to them and everyone else involved in this ROM. Uh, otherwise though, let's go ahead and get into the review. Alright, so right away, uh, this ROM is based off of LG8, which is the latest Sprint uh, stock firmware for the stock software for the Galaxy S3. So you'll see Android version 4.0.4. Under build number, you will see Wicked Sensations. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. If you want to check that out, I can link to that in the description of the video. You can also check out the boot animation. The boot animation is pretty cool at the end of that how to install video if you want to see that. But otherwise, um, this ROM comes with two launchers. You'll see TouchWiz Home, which is the basically stock TouchWiz launcher, and you also have Apex launchers, which is more of an ice cream sandwich launcher. So you'll see, go to Apex launcher. Um, it is themed while the app drawer button is themed. So go there. You'll see you got your app drawer downloaded, widgets. Uh, so you got that option along with obviously touch with home which i'm going to set by default so i can press the home button for certain things but yeah so i mean you have your touch with launcher you have apex launcher which is great to have two of those awesome options obviously um some people like one or the other so it's great that he included both or they included both um you got four and one reboot option press and hold the power button you got silent mode data network airplane mode restart power off restart you have reboot, hot boot. Hot boot doesn't work, so don't select it. You have download and recovery, so you can go straight to download mode, straight into recovery mode. You have your um, all those options there. Up at the top, let's go ahead and check out this theme. You will notice it has an awesome theme. Uh, if you are familiar with the Epic 4G Touch, they did have a ROM there called Wicked Sensations. So if you're coming from an Epic 4G Touch, I'm sure you're familiar with this ROM. But otherwise, very cool battery icon up there. I do really like that battery icon. You'll see percentage in the middle. Uh, blue signal bars, you got that blue Wi-Fi icon, I can hop off Wi-Fi, and we can check out that 3G icon, but otherwise, uh, uh, blue clock as well, removed AM, PM, so you don't have AM, PM there. Swipe down notification bar, and there's that 3G icon you can see right there. Um, you have all your stock toggles up here, sync, airplane mode, power saving, mobile data, screen rotation, vibrate, GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, but you'll see it is themed very... Uh, very cool actually I really like these icons they light up blue when selected so you'll see I turn on Wi-Fi and uh, it gets selected lights up blue so very awesome there uh, you'll see it says wicked sensations got the date you have uh, settings button auto uh, brightness there since it's based off of LG 8 of course you do have a semi-transparent notification drawer you can still see kind of through it somewhat down at the bottom says wicked sensations overall very clean very nice themed uh, uh, notification pull down bar there um, you'll see I do have my custom background there, my QB King 77 background, but it does come with uh, some cool uh, wallpapers. So go to home screen, go to wallpapers, and you'll see you got some pretty neat uh, wallpaper options under there that are included. So definitely be sure to check those out if you are someone that likes messing around with different wallpapers. Otherwise, as I said, many different things are themed. You will see it says Market. It would be the Play Store, of course, but uh, they just have it renamed to be Market. It is themed. It's got a much darker look to it. So you'll see a very cool loading uh, screen as well. If I go into an application, let's say I want to go into Angry Birds, um, you'll see it is very dark. Much, uh, It's pretty much an inverted application, so you'll see install buttons even different if I wanted to download Angry Birds. I do have that option there, which is uh, awesome. So, I mean, it is inverted. Another cool thing that's included in this ROM is that it comes with Google Now. So, uh, you can tap on this Google search bar. You'll see it brings up Google Now. Discover Google Now. I haven't uh, set it up yet, obviously. So, uh, you can run through the setup, and it obviously is going to go ahead and load up Google Now. So very awesome there. You got those uh, cards. Looks like White Sox won. Heck yeah. Uh, but anyways, lets you know the weather in your area. So very awesome. Google Now is really great. Obviously, you can go ahead and tap up here into the voice search, and it brings up a search. So if you wanted to say, what's the weather like in Toronto? It's 73 degrees and clear in Toronto. There you go. So 73 degrees and clear in Toronto, Canada. So there you go. Um, otherwise though, uh, I mean, obviously Google Now working very well, awesome. Um, I, I love Google Now, it's it's really great. It's It works so well. I'm really happy that Google decided to come up with this. Uh, but anyways, um, you'll see, you got the, a nice card, I believe, um, just letting you know basically the score of the game. 
Otherwise though, other options, you do have the Jelly Bean animation, so when you go into an application or scroll through different screens, you will see it does have Jelly Bean animations. I did send a test text message to Google. Uh, everything should be working fine in this round, by the way. Uh, pretty, everything, you should have no issues whatsoever. It should be completely stable. Um, the only thing that really doesn't work is that hot boot option that I mentioned earlier in that uh, reboot menu, but that's that's really it. Uh, another thing I actually wanted to show you is that uh, the charging, the battery icon actually um, has an animation when charging. So I'm going to go ahead and plug uh, the device into my computer so it's charging, and then you will see up at the top the battery icon has kind of a charging animation there. So very cool, just a little thing that I wanted to point out for you guys. I thought was pretty neat uh, that I liked myself. But otherwise though, uh, very cool themed, uh, more of a blue theme to it. You'll see a, a bunch of different applications are themed, icons are themed, you go to the calculator, you'll see that is themed of course. Um, I mean, yeah, Gmail, that is themed, hop into Gmail, you'll see that's completely themed right there. Um, other things, uh, obviously the Play Store icon, the market is themed. You have a couple music players, you have music here, which I believe is the Mi, Mi UI music player, my UI uh, music player. I, I don't hold me to it, but you get all songs artists, so that's actually pretty cool. So you have uh, a bunch of different options there. So it's a neat uh, music player there. And I believe you have the stock music player with music player, which you do. So you get the stock music player along with the other music one. So that music one actually looked really cool, so I'm definitely gonna be using that one. You have S voice there. Uh, probably not gonna be needed if you have Google, uh, Google Now. Uh, if you tap on this voice search icon right here, it should Right, let's try Google. There we go. So that brings up Google now even if you press on the, the search button. So I'm not sure why it's not just giving you a voice command um, if you tap on Google. But I guess up at the top you're going to have to do it yourself, which is um, not too big of a deal. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Obviously, it's really just great that Google now works. You can just tap on this bar right there. I believe you can go into voice search. Um, in the in your app drawer as well, so it, it's really up to you. Obviously, Google Wallet's there. Google Wallet's working. Um, looks like you got a nice YouTube application. I do you like those loading screens? Um, I think this. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you do have uh, a nice look there. In the, go into the settings menu. Uh, into that settings menu, you will see nice blue overscroll glow. I mean, you have some some themed icons on the side here. You have call message block. So if you have some numbers that you wanted to block, you can do that natively within the settings, which is obviously a very cool feature there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's really awesome. The, the theme is great. I really like those toggles up at the top. That's probably one of my favorite things about the ROM is those toggles up there. I really like those. It does have an ad block, so you shouldn't have to deal with some ads and applications. Uh, there's, as I said, a lot of inverted applications. Uh, I believe Calendar is inverted as well. Don't hold me to that. Uh, I think it looks a little bit different. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't usually use the calendar application that often. I usually just put it into um, a, a different calendar, actually. I just have a, a written calendar that I use. I know I should probably get updated with that, but I mean, it's it's it works for me. I really uh, can keep track as of right now of certain things I have to do. But anyways, uh, aside from that, uh, I mean, it's, it's really, it's got really got that nice theme. It's, I mean, it's got uh, all those little tweaks going on. You do have different keyboard options um, in there. Let's go ahead and go to language and input, and you'll see you do have uh, the Samsung keyboard and ice cream sandwich keyboard, which I prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically set the ice cream sandwich keyboard by default because I do prefer that over the Samsung keypad. Obviously, if you like the Samsung keypad, it comes with that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really just about everything I wanted to show you guys. I do, I mean, this ROM has been very smooth, very fast. I haven't had any issues yet whatsoever. As I said, everything should be working just fine. You'll definitely have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Do a barrel roll.